counties, Joe Davies and Whiteside are listed as having high or substantial transmission rates of COVID-19, according to the CDC. 13 News reporter Mary Sugnan spoke with one local health system on how this impacts available ICU beds. In all of Region 1, 75% of ICU beds are currently occupied, according to IDPH, a concerning trend for those on the front lines of this pandemic. When you start to see ICU beds fill up, that starts to mean your ER is going to fill up and it affects our ability to manage uh, other things and uh, people's ability to you know, maintain their basic health. OSF St. Anthony Chief Medical Officer Dr. Stephen Bartlett says he's worried we're setting ourselves up for a repeat of surges similar to what we experienced last fall. The viral reservoir, the amount of uh, people with infection is enough to keep the process of mutation continuing and that until we eliminate that virus reservoir, we're going to keep seeing um, new variants emerge. You know, we're up to Yoda, um, but what will happen, we've got Gamma and Iota, what will happen if there's a Kappa variant that's more serious? We don't know. Bartlett says the Delta variant is much more contagious than what's come before it. However, he doesn't believe the infection itself is more severe, but he's hopeful the percent of population that have opted to get vaccinated will help to keep surges less intense than what we experienced in 2020. Hopefully, uh, people are starting to get the idea that the vaccine is what we've got in order to prevent uh, further spread of the virus. Which is why, for now, he's continuing to push and advocate for those who've decided against a shot to reconsider. People have got to take this seriously and reconsider getting the vaccine, and I hope they do it. I hope more people will get one of these to avoid ending up here so our world can one day return to normal. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. So far, 840 cases of Delta have been detected in our state. The variant has only been found in Illinois since mid-June.